Hey there, I'm Mark from Spectrum Pulse, and today we finally have from Julia Holter, Something in the Room She Moves. You know, if I were to highlight one of my older reviews that crystallized the reality I really had to get rid of scores, it was Aviary by Julia Holter in late 2018, an album that I grasped intellectually but really just bounced off me in the execution. The sort of project that doesn't lend itself well to easy categorization or interpretation, it's got some layered and borderline contradictory themes, but it also allows a whole lot of vitriolic backlash when you're critical of it. But hey, that's the risk that comes with experimental abstract art that doesn't slot well into rankings or hierarchies. Almost seems kind of silly to demand critical consensus when, by definition, the album was gonna challenge audiences. And considering how much structure Aviary surrendered compared to, I don't know, Loud City Song or Have You in My Wilderness, shouldn't be surprising either. Now, ever since then, Julia Holter released a film score in 2020, a chamber music collab with Spectral Quartet and Alex Temple in 2023, and had her first daughter, an experience that part partially inspired this new album, specifically in exploring the malleability of human experience to go through such vast changes, embrace more playfulness and chaos. Now that's an interesting thematic expansion coming off of Aviary, where that project was facing the normalization of that insanity and ambiguity trying to find some form of comfort in it. This seems to be rolling with the impulse, giving in and trying to become one with whatever it's going to take you, especially moving tension with other people people and your love for them. It kind of makes sense why the album art is taken from a painting called Wrestling, where the question of whether or not it represents love or conflict is intentionally left abstract. And that mostly works for the writing as well, where Holter has described her lyrics as more with what sonically fits the music than making more tangible sense. Not quite improvisational as Aviary was, but they've got a thrown together, spur the moment feel where the poetry gestures at a scene rather than clear painting it. Now the metaphors that do call us the most around primal forces like the sea and the sun, creating a vastness in which Holter attempts to live, create, and love within, which also explains the somewhat amorphous feel of these compositions as they just playfully roll through ideas. There's a bit more structure and even a couple of hooks like on the excellent title track with the simply stunning arrangement and impeccably ethereal transitions and a sax solo, but it's also very far removed from the self contained pop of her earlier albums. And across these 10 sprawling tracks, there's not really much in the way of momentum. By the time we get to the spare piano arrangement of Materia and the off-kilter a cappella mantras of Me You, it can feel like the album kind of grinds to a halt. Now, thankfully, it picks up considerably in the back half, starting with the clicking ramshackle groove of spinning. But as a whole, it also doesn't quite bother me as much this time. Now, some of it is me becoming more comfortable with ambient structure structures, and there is some of that on this album, some of it is Holter's more curious sense of populism that underscores the writing and pulls me in. Some of it is just her absolutely gorgeous vocal delivery, that's always been true, or it's the more individual moments of beauty that help the songs pop, especially in the woodwinds and the horns. Now sometimes it can feel a little more obtuse than outright working for me. The gauzy metallic synths and the lumbering groove of Sun Girl feels deliberately segmented, it doesn't quite transition well. Hell, there's an oily quality to a lot of the synth choices I don't really love, but then you have the saxophone welling across the keys on These Morning, the striking ambient piece Ocean as the keening layers roil around each other, and that supple groove of Evening Moon that has a really pretty woodwind diversion that then becomes frenetic and wild on the funereal talking to the whisper, even before or we get the saxophone coming back. Despite so many odd turns as this album has, there is this classic Julia Holter beauty to a lot of these compositions that wound up sticking for me a lot more than I thought they would. But as a whole, Yes, it definitely works more for me than Aviary. The loose playfulness contrasted with more populism and a tighter focus in theme and composition. But I will say there's a part of me that's still not fully all the way there, the same way I am for Loud City Song or Ecstasis or Have You in My Wilderness. Some of that comes with knowing just how well Holter can bend pop melodic structures in fascinating ways, where catching the vibe of her more abstracted work is a little less consistent, especially if you're just not enraptured by the beauty of the experience. I was definitely more on board for it, but it is kind of a tricky recommendation, especially if you're looking for something more immediate and direct and you can't 
catch that art pop wavelength. It's very good, for sure. Not sure if it's great, but it's certainly closer. And it's definitely worth a listen. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more, please be sure to like, share, drop comments, and subscribe. I definitely had more to say about this one than I expected. It was one of those reviews that kind of took a lot to really sit with me. This is one of those albums that's kind of tricky to discuss and untangle. It, it goes in weird places, but ultimately it came out positive, and hopefully the reception of the review will be a little better than last time. Beyond that, though, anything else I might be able to do to improve my presentation, I'm all ears. And if you all want to get involved in helping support the channel or get albums like this on my schedule so I can cover them earlier or just argue with me on my Discord, the link to my Patreon is right over there. Once again, don't feel obligated. Tough times. I understand. The options available. Till then, I'm Mark. You're watching Spectrum Pulse. And I'll see you next time.